Yo, what's good you guys? I hope the quality isn't so bad. I'm doing a trade breakdown for the CPI trade I just called in on the Discord. As you can see, that trade was sent right here on the EURUSD folder. Uh, I actually sent it on time, but it was on GU, so I had to delete the image on GU and publish it right here. Because I noticed it was on the wrong folder. Just because the trade was so quick, just on the news timing, but as you can see, it was still before news because the news impacted me at 2.30 and yeah, I took the trade like 40 minutes before. So as you can see the progress of the trade and right now I'm going to break it down. So let's start by looking at for Forex Factory. As you can see, we had a CPI of course. The forecast in the previous looked kind of neutral. So we don't knew what to expect. It came out the core CPI. The core CPI is basically the CPI, the inflation without all the variables that CPI has. So it's more important for the Fed to look at this number and this number. So what we could see is that the the CPI, the core CPI, was actually positive than the forecasted. <coughs> this means, well, on the logical side, on the reality, if the USD has more inflation, that means the currency has is less valuable. But on the investor side, if inflation is greater, the Fed might might raise the the the, the rates to lower inflation. So that means the dollar will appreciate in value. So but we didn't know this, right? Because this was before news, so we didn't know what to expect, so we just had to predict it. How do you predict it? You look at technicals. And usually, <coughs> sorry, usually what I like to say is the, the news is just a setup accelerator. So if you look at liquidity, usually fundamentals and technicals will follow, follow the same way. So if we look at the XY, what I was looking at the XY is that we had these these low, these highs, right? This resistance, and we were right here. We could see we tapped this order block. We could have came down here, but we already tapped the order block. We had already tapped Asia lows, so we had Asia high left. We had these highs, even this high maybe, for later. So yeah, that was a one of the confluences. Right now, looking at. USD, the main thing. So for USD, I would rather it to come here to the IPA, but it didn't. So we had to figure another thing out. But the CPI move gotta happen somewhere, right? So if you look down here, uh, I'm gonna just put the indicator here. So we see price was shut down on the higher time frame. We, we are also bearish, just to maybe around here, here, here. We're overall bearish for the for the last couple weeks since we broke major highs. So fuck. So we saw the price was shooting down it broke this high right here make it another low which means now that this high is kind of protected and you see it had previously already been tested but at the same time we had this low that was broken and that's why price shut up but price came playing around here so we could say that this whole order block was a trap for smart money smart money concept traders because not only them but retail traders were also selling here they were selling here here and so on so when price was ranging and then i'm gonna show you on a lower time frame even more traps for the smart money traders we had price breaking structure incentivizing 
smart money traders to come in we had also household this low that broke this high and then it got broken again so smart money traders what they did they looked at this they saw we took out a liquidity they saw a break of structure and decided short what happened later price played around gave them some hope and bam shot them up new york session opened price liquidated those highs so right now we liquidated these highs came to this interesting dpr or inverted fair value gap whatever you like to call it came precisely in there let me just remove this so then what you have to think is where where is there the where is the liquidity like price needs the liquidity to go somewhere so where is it going to go higher or lower where is more liquidity here on the on the upside you have the IPA IPA right but otherwise this that's this but price kind of already like tested it you know but if you check on the lower side we're currently bearish we have this this ranging area here which is didn't really did nothing because if you see this it's just a double bottom basically and plus asia low asia low is important guys we liquidated asia highs so now we gotta liquidate asia lows <clears throat> so then if you go on the lower time frame like the way i like to place myself guys is i like to see everybody being taken out and then i place myself so because this was a trap most likely this will become a trap and this will become a trap understand why because smart money trades were taken out here and now they're saying oh we're not actually bearish we're actually bullish and they see this as a break of structure what is actually just a liquidation and they try and buy here and they get stopped out again but yeah see they got taken out and right now i just placed myself I just go on a lower time frame. I see price. You can see here there, there was a, literally another another manipulation. You can see price shooting up, breaking structure over here, and then boom, taking out traders that placed themselves here earlier. Got to our level. Did the right BOS. This was a fake one. And even this and all of this shit. Did the true BOS. We waited for the inducement to be taken out, just as another manipulation, kind of, if you like to say it. See this bullshit? Prices, people like trading over here, and then boom, just get taken out. Place yourself on the imbalance or FEG, whatever you like to call it. And then we got our move. And even whilst we're waiting for the news, fuck price just came to the trend line that we got here so one two three four touches retail tra trades are going crazy and they see this bos they think we, we're going higher but no price is telling you literally it wants to shoot down you could even really place yourself again on this retest of the order block <coughs> and got in again but it was too Two on the news, like it was five, five minutes early. But yeah, price is literally telling you once you shoot down. So that's about it, guys. Let me know if you like these observations, these trade breakdowns, and I'll do more. Thank you.